Yo, what's up? Moki here. We have a new movement tech. And after getting multiple headaches investigating it, oh boy, is it a weird one. It's a slide jump that skips the slide animation, but still gives you the same boost as a normal slide jump. Which is why I'm calling it skip jumping. In its simplest form, have your weapon out, start sprinting, switch to your other weapon, then slide jump, but jump much sooner than you are used to from a slide jump. You will get the boost from a slide jump without performing its animation. But even though this is the simple explanation, please stay with me. I'm going to explain how this is new, the exact timings and very weird quirks around skip jumping, but also some very interesting things about slides and quick slides in combination with holstering and unholstering your weapons that I only learned about while investigating all of this. First, let's quickly recap fade sliding and generic quick slide jumping and why they're not the same as a skip jump. Everybody on every input using every legend can slide jump just 150 milliseconds after a standstill if you have your weapons holstered. What Fate added on top of that is starting a sprint while still in a crouch. The 150 milliseconds from standstill is still the exact same, but because you start it while in a crouch, it's just 120 milliseconds from uncrouch to slide jump. So this was most useful when doing it out of cover, since you could stay crouched in cover for longer and then push an enemy with maximum speed out of that crouch position. And chaining out of and into a crouch or slide also makes it very hard to hit you since your hitbox shifts around so much. Hold crouch, start sprinting, uncrouch and slide jump. So now we have something which you can call a quick, instant and fast slide or jump, which is a normal slide jump, timed very well after a standstill. And a fade slide jump, which is the same, but out of a crouch. Timed very well with when you start sprinting and uncrouching. And to reiterate, your weapon needs to be holstered to initiate this. Which now leads us into the skip jump. Because one of its weird conditions is that you need to be holding a weapon to gain the speed boost from it. Trying to do a skip jump with your weapon holstered will not give you nearly the same speed boost which goes completely contrary to what movement guides, including the ones I have made, have been teaching you. We always say, try to have your guns holstered if you want speed. And the complete opposite is true for a skip jump. Another crazy part is a skip jump works if you stay in the slide for just 10 milliseconds. Or at least that's the lowest my macro software lets me go. So your crouch and jump input can be just 10 milliseconds apart from each other and you will still get the speed boost. They can be further apart. You don't need to hit this perfect timing every time to get a skip jump. But if you're a perfectionist, you can hit them very close together. As a comparison, for a normal slide jump to work and give you the max boost, you need to stay in the slide for 150 to 200 milliseconds, 15 to 20 times longer than what enables a skip jump. Being able to skip the slide animation while still getting the exact same speed boost seems like such a fundamental revelation that it seems a bit mind-boggling that no one else has come up with that by now. Well, not so much if you learn that another weird quirk is that it only works between 370 and 470 milliseconds after you start sprinting. What? Yes, a skip jump will not work if you sprinted for too long. Which again is contrary to what we all believed about movement and gaining velocity. The 110 second window between 370 and 470 milliseconds might sound like a really hard timing to get down but it's not really in comparison to other movement tech. Super gliding, for example, has a 5 to 33 millisecond window, depending on your frame rate. And if you've ever done a zipline super jump, you have done it in a window that's usually less than 100 milliseconds. So why am I investigating skip jumping now? A month ago, a player named Harp 
posted this video to the Apex Rollout subreddit, claiming to have found a new instant slide jump, which involved a weapon swap, and last week posted a tutorial for it. Through my extensive testing, I found out that you can perform a skip jump without a weapon swap. You just need to hold a weapon, but, and that's a huge but, skip jumping only works if your frames change enough while skipping the slide animation. What? Yes, skip jumping is a frame dependent technique, but not depending on whether you have super high or garbage tier FPS, but that your FPS changes while doing it. Which is where the weapon swap comes back in. Because swapping your weapons will usually drop your frames a bit before going up again. So you can perform a skip jump without a weapon swap, but it gets a lot more consistent with one. I could get into a whole section about how frame delta times work and why they're relevant to physics and player position in multiplayer games, but that's a topic for a different day. Some caveats are of course that if you have your frames locked and easily reach those frames, you likely won't be able to perform skip jumping. Meaning PC locked frames and newer consoles are affected by this. I however had someone on my discord test this on an Xbox One cause it and the PS4 are known to dip below 60 FPS with certain actions. And they reported that weapon swapping dips the frames by about 3 to 5 FPS, which will likely enable skip jumping on those consoles. It might also not be the weapon swap itself, but a certain key input dropping your frames. Because I have been able to pull off skip jumping reliably by just selecting weapon 1 while already being on weapon 1. More testing would need to be done which right now I no longer have the nerve for. But this leads us into what else I found out about holstering and weapon swaps around a skip jump and fast slide jumps, which will be useful to you whether you have your frames locked or not. Through my testing I figured out that the state you are in, holstered or gun drawn, only changes once the animation is finished. If you start holstered and pull out a weapon, you will be in the holstered state until the draw animation has finished. And on the other hand, if you holster your weapon, you will be in the gun drawn state until the animation has finished. What does that mean for our gameplay? For example, if you have your weapon holstered, you can pull out a weapon before you start sprinting to perform a fast slide jump, which I talked about at the beginning of the video which results in the weapon being out the moment you still have the highest speed. On the other hand, if you have your weapon out, it needs to be fully holstered before you can initiate a fast slide jump. This is where your hours in Apex and being in tune with the intricacies of the games come into play, even if it's just subconscious. If you always play R9 and Wingman for example, and slide around and holster a lot, you know the draw and hold the timings of those weapons by heart. Because yes, different guns have different draw and hold the timings, with pistols being the fastest and LMGs and snipers the slowest. So I'm convinced a lot of really good players have been playing around those draw and hold the times and holstered and unholstered states without ever watching a tutorial for it or being consciously aware of what they are doing or how they are timing their button inputs. So the purpose of mentioning this is not meant to claim it's all new knowledge, but to make the working of weapon holstering transparent and consciously trainable. And I myself have used what I called an instant slide jump pretty much since release, where I jumped out of a slide too early if I needed to get over a death box for example. I just never consciously experienced the boost from a skip jump. So if I call a skip jump a new movement hack, it's not because it has never been done in the history of Apex, but because it now has a name and we now know exactly how it works, when it doesn't work and how to repeat it. So what's the benefit of skip jumping? 
First, you just save the 140 milliseconds of a slide by skipping the slide animation. Meaning if you don't have a lot of time or run up distance, but want to push a corner, this will give you the needed speed the fastest. And not being in the slide animation makes you a lot harder to hit. Your hitbox looks different and on top of the enemy not expecting you to be that fast, so quick, they might just be surprised and bewildered to what just happened, distracting them for a bit longer. I think skip jumping will be the most useful in the hands of players like Lyric, Wrecked or Fade that have already mastered all the other slide jumps and have insanely precise action times, so they will be able to implement it into actual fights regularly. If you have a clip of a successful skip jump, share it in the Apex Rollout subreddit and look around there for other Apex movement shenanigans. A small disclaimer, I only use mouse macros to figure out the exact timings for a tutorial like this. I do not encourage you to use them in game. I hope this whole ordeal might open the door to even more frame delta techniques in the future. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe if you want to stay on the cutting edge of movement tech and I will see you in the next video. Bye!